It's the Real News Network, and I'm Greg Wilpert coming to you from Baltimore. Workers at 26 Chicago area hotels have been on strike for almost two weeks now. This is one of the biggest such actions in over a decade in Chicago and could have ramifications far beyond the city. The union, Unite Here, organized the strike in a coordinated effort when contracts at 30 hotels had expired. Workers are not only demanding wage increases, but also safer workloads, increased sick days, and improved job security. One of the main demands, though, is to win year-round health insurance. Joining us now from Chicago is Q Rivers. She is Unite Here Local One strike captain and has worked at Palmer House Hilton for two years. Thanks for joining us today, Q. Hi, no problem. So first of all, tell us about why you are on strike. What have your working conditions been like and how would you like to see them improve? Um, well, as far as me, uh, my work conditions in the slow seasons, I get laid off. Um, and when, a, when it's hot outside, I'm working six days. I'm working, you know, without a break sometimes, without even t able to take a lunch break. So um, it's, it's horrible. The work conditions are horrible. It's, but then once they're done with us, they just let they lay us off for three, four months at a time. And so what are you demanding now in this in this particular strike action? Well, for me, I'm demanding um, year-round health insurance. Being a diabetic is very important to me that I have my health insurance um, year-round and not just while I'm working. So I, tell us a little bit more about why uh, health insurance is such an important issue, not just for you, but I mean, in general. I mean, uh, w what is the issue about year-round health insurance? Why, why is that uh, a problem? Um, because the people with um, the lower seniority in the hotels, when they get laid off, their health insurance is cut. So, it, um, and everyone knows in the cold, see, that's when all the colds come, flu and everything. So people need their health insurance. So if you've only been there, like myself, for two years, which is a long time, but if you've been there for two to, you know, three years, you lose that health insurance. So you can't see your doctor, you can't get the proper medical care that you need. So that's why it's, that's why it's a big thing because it's not fair that the hotels are busy. They they tell us they're not busy, but they're busy. So they have work for us to do, but they still choose to lay us off, which puts us in a bind. And it's not just us; it's our families. We have um, our uh, spouses and the children on our health insurance, and then they're missing out. So that's why it's important to everyone. And uh, is there anything you can tell us about the status of the negotiations? I mean, are, is the union and uh, the, uh, the man hotel management, are they coming any, to any kind of agreement? Or do you think that this, will, this action will last a long time longer? Um, I hope it don't last any longer, but I'm not sure. I, I don't have any details about negotiations. I'm just out here on the picket line with my coworkers you know, fighting for the um, greater cause. I don't know anything about the negotiations, but I hope they come to something soon. But if not, we're going to be out here until they do. And how did the action come about? Uh, was it easy or difficult to mobilize workers at so many hotels? And uh, what has participation been like? Are people respecting the picket lines? Oh, yeah, people are they're respecting it, yeah. Um, it, was, it wasn't easy. It's never easy when you get, have to gather 26 hotels together and all the employees because you know, people have um, bills and they're scared. So it's never easy to get um, get them together, but we did it. We got everyone, in. we all, majority of everyone is out here. We're fighting for this and everyone is still um, standing strong and sticking together. And uh, what do you think is the larger significance of this strike? I mean, what lessons do you hope workers at other hotels and other service sector workplaces might learn from the strike? That you don't don't just settle for what they're giving you. You is always more. They always always more to offer. You're worth more than just what they're trying to just give us the bare minimum. So that I hope people just understand that even though it's hard and you you're scared, but you have to you have to stand up for something. One final question. Um, I understand that at one of the hotels, uh, the uh, um, the workers were being told that they could be fired if uh, they strike. Do you know anything about this? And uh, if so, I mean, what kind? And then, then they, in the end, voted for in favor of the strike when they found out that that wasn't true. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about what happened? Um, that, those are just rumors that the um, the boss was throwing around to scare people because a lot of the uh, minorities. 
they're um they're still like in the immigration process or however it goes. So they just they just threw that around to scare them. But you is once they found when they found out you can't be fired for striking, they they out here with us. Okay, great. Well, I wish you good luck, and um, we're, we're going to uh, continue to track this. I was speaking to Q Rivers, Unite Here, Local One Strike Captain. Thanks again, Q, for having joined us today. All right, thank you. Have a good one. And thank you for joining the Real News Network.